Alright, for those who are not sure exactly what kind of mess they're looking at, uh, what's held in the alligator clip is the end of a fiber optic cable hooked up to this item right here, which is a coherent 808 nanometer uh, infrared diode. Take a look what happens when I hit power to it. Doesn't take long at all. Or maybe it does because I don't have it set up properly. Whoops. Aiming is important. But I have it just aimed at that black balloon just for perp general uh, purposes there. And you can see the smoke come up instantly and it start to fire. That's pretty frightening stuff because you cannot see the beam whatsoever. Unfortunately, I don't have night shot, so I can't uh, catch the beam uh, in action in all of its uh, infrared glory. But uh, in case you missed it, which I doubt you did, but just in case, we'll go ahead and do it again. Right there, applying power, smoke instantly. That's pretty bad. That's a uh, 1.2 watt, 808 nanometer coming out of the end of a fiber optic cable. Pretty frightening stuff. Bye. This is my cl slightly cleaned up work surface here. Uh, that's a dime just to show you what the, the head of the fiber optic diode looks like. Um, actually the fiber optic pigtail that's on the diode itself. The diode itself is encased in this brass housing and then just hooked up to some simple AA batteries and just a little switch for powering it. I figured I'd put up a couple of matches just so you can see that uh, it does <laughs> do some damage. Um, now I'm not sure exactly what the uh, appropriate distance would be but that seems to work. And I'm not sure whether the camera's picking it up or not, but you can see a little red dot just a split second before it catches on fire. That's actually the faint output from the uh, infrared diode. Pretty cool and pretty scary because normally you cannot see the beam and if you mess with these things you can lose your eyesight very quickly. What you don't see is that I am actually wearing infrared goggles right now. Bye.